Well, he still owns the record for the longest title reign in UFC history, nearly 2,500 days. Anderson the Spider Silva, and I guess DC with no mandatory retirement age, this guy might go forever. Anderson Silva is one of the greatest fighters of all time. One of the guys that when you think of mixed martial arts and you think of the UFC, you immediately think of the Spider. You think of the highlight reel, winning the belt from Rich Franklin, the up kick on Vitor Belfort, the knee against Stefan Bonner, the bobbing and weaving against Forrest Griffin. He has a highlight reel a mile long, one of the most fantastic martial artists the sport has ever seen. And still proving to be competitive in his mid-40s, that is the goal again tonight for one of the best to ever do it, Anderson the Spider Silk. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Or kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Silva is 14 years the elder. He is seven inches taller. He will have a five inch reach advantage. All right, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, Anderson, the spider, Silva! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, come into the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for in this division. It's hard to find anything resembling a ground weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well armed as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Great punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Silva gets hit with a kick. 
All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Some behind it, but it landed. Right hand upstairs. Head kick there blocked by Silva lands flush. Set up that low kick. And he landed the right hand there. Wind it up on the right there to know that. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice, nice right hand. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Silva. Got clip with the right hand. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. tie there. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, and he caught the kick. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He loaded up there on that high kick. Alright, single so collar tie now. And they set. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Luke. with a punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Got the single collar tie. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Silva gets caught by that straight punch, beautifully landed by the opposition. Wait, no more shots. No 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 All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lot for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attack the body to great effect and we'll look to continue to do so. He has done a great job of making the investment. The investment to the body that may not pay dividends early, but as the fight goes long, 
you will see it start to pay itself out. Just misses there with the left. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. How good is that right hand? Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Beautiful fight. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, here's the head kick. It's blocked. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Gets stung by that leg kick. Do not back up. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Leg kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Nice strike. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, Silva's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Try to establish that jab. Kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. There's no give on that leg kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big body to land. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how, how good that feels to get kicked like that. Got it, though. It doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, knee strikes right to the midsection there. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Watch knees to the body. Silva gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Punch coming, it's blocked. 85 total strikes have landed for Anderson Silva. Well, not the most efficient effort today. The numbers landing with 34% accuracy thus far against Anderson Silva. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pull it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Silva gets caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, 
but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You got to like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, Silva's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Yeah, he's fixed it all up. What a punch. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Missed with that right hand. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body. And he connects with the punch. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Silva. Lands flush. Up to the head there by Lee. Big leg kick land. Misses again with a right punch. Big punch lands through the middle. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. He is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Well-placed kick there by Silva. Lands flush. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Just misses with the jet. Look at him chop with the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice combination by Silva. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Trying to establish that jab once again. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. with that right hand. Ooh, big shot, man. Man, how good is his right hook count? Oh, oh, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. 
connects with a right. Punch is blocked. Just missed with the straight left hand. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice punch, man. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up on your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Nice loop and punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg. Great kicks there. Man, look at that. Oh, over the top. This fight's going to be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attacks. He didn't stay in the court. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Big kick lands. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Nice. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Went for the inside leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water, going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he just touched it over and over again. Straight punch land. Silva gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Right punches there. That shot blocked by Lee. Nice head kick. Real quick leg kick. Nice straight punch. Jab yet again out of range. Just over two minutes to go. Just missed on the open. Check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Real sneaky body kick. Good punch land. And they separate. Oh, nice. Gets the elbow up into the target. Plus right hand is true. Big head kick land. hip over when he throws that kick. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. 
Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Double leg lay. Finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempts without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top secure? Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Seconds left. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, there's the head kick. Looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by Silva Lance Flush. That one's so nice. Nice strike. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much, and given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're gonna stop this fight. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those this kicks round, at will. Ready? He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Silva. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Continues to eat power shots here. To mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Beautiful head kick. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, you can feel the breeze there. Swing and miss by Silva, lands flush. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Silva gets hit by that kick to the body. Ooh, what a punch. Right hand upstairs. Big leg kick land. on that offering. Nice leg kick lands. Just out of range with that left hook. Good punch. Head kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Pretty good right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Liver kick. Well, the body work's starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. And they separate. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision, or you can lose by knockout. But at least when you go for the knockout, you give yourself a chance to try to find your shot. Big body kick. Came on inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Two minutes now to go in the fight. And they separate. Silva gets caught by the inside leg. Oh, and there's a kick to the body, not having that one. Oh, oh, the gun. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. He's out! He's done! He's done! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there.
right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Burgley out has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 21 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. 